the Kettler or the Kettler or the Kettle or Arthur from Sword in the Stones. It's up to you how you want to call it. I will call it CDK. It's easier because I still have no idea how to, 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 to call him. But we're going to talk about him and also we're going to talk about what is the things that make me most worried about him. Because honestly, guys, I don't know absolutely anything about this player. I'm sorry, I don't follow full of football, football all over the world. I have no idea, zero idea about who this guy is. I know he's pretty blonde in 1 meter 90 and uh, her mom following follow him everywhere he goes so that's the only thing i know i don't know anything else so we're gonna discover a little bit about uh cdk cdk yes is that really a top talent we don't know i'm gonna find out first of all i'm not wearing any jersey today guys because here in barcelona is like 35 degrees i'm closing my in my room with puma hanging around <laughs> But it's super, super hot. Hopefully, you're spending a very good summer. Anyway, let's let's keep going. He on the first season, 2019-2020, 27 appearance, two goals, three assists, two yellow cards. Hey, let's go. Then the season after, 2021, 46 appearance, five goals and eight assists, zero cards, zero booking, zero red card, and then eventually last year the year of the boom 49 appearance 18 goal in all competition 10 assists a good uh, six yellow cards so i feel in it is start to coming up and i understand why paolo maldini and ricky massara they spend the old i don't know how many months honestly guys this this one was longer than i think the 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 market transfer the rumor started when he was 19 and it took so long that now he's 21 years old. <laughs> apparently, apparently, apparently. I don't trust anything about, about this apparently. But apparently he was lowering his own salary. <laughs> lowering his own salary to help the transfer to Milan. We will see. I don't trust any of, of the football players nowadays. And they kiss the, the shield and then they go to the opposite team. So... It's not really trustworthy. Maybe can be be just gossip. But yeah, that's good. Also, as I mentioned before, I, I will keep the only reason why I'm still doubting about CDK uh, and the last part of the video because for me that is the biggest that is the biggest concern that I have. Apparently, CDK is like a Swiss Army knife. He can be played wherever they want. So for Pioli, and actually, it does make sense because Brahim Diaz, we never know how he's gonna play. Uh, on the right, we have uh, Messia, we have Selemaker. That they are good, but you never know and uh, I don't know can he play as a forward striker I don't know maybe maybe yes because he's 190 so why not maybe but let's see some some of the highlights of of CDK last year because I'm very curious it's a good touch this is a, a, we gain him a good visions this is the first time I'm watching him playing physically physically strong and that in italy and in europe it's very very important because you need to be really really strong with both and your feet of course this is him goal super goal i like that that was a good action that was a good uh, okay back heel there you go look at the good vision so he got vision okay let me see if he got shot yeah, that's good. We need. We really need somebody. Who, ooh, tan, uh, Namteg. We need in Milan. I think we need somebody that. Whoa, that was good. We need somebody who take the shots from outside the box. I hope that uh, he can put some more muscle on. Look at that. Look at good. Physically strong. I can see that. Physically, is very good. one meter and ninety. He need to eat a lot of pasta, guys. In Italy, I hope he's gonna eat really a lot of pasta okay that's just a collection of his action he got yeah he got the pace so you know also what i really hope that is gonna happen i really hope that brahim diaz when now that he sees some real competition some real talent because they are i think they are more or less the same age i really hope that he wake the fuck up because brahim diaz is one of oh that's the goal against gijo donnarumma yes because i think that Brain Diaz is, is sleeping is sleeping quietly, sleeping with you know without worrying because I'm the only one that Pioli can play. But last year, 
last year, I remember the last few matches, uh, Pioli played Krunic uh, behind uh, behind Ori, behind uh, Giroud because he was not trusting anymore um, uh, Brahim Diaz. So I hope that now, because Brahim Diaz has a very good technique, he just needs to put a little bit more weight and stop falling every time somebody is pushing him. So please don't don't fall anymore. But I think he, he with a little bit of competition, he can really grow, grow as well. And if everything is fine with Adli, which is very good, Adli, Leao, Tonali, Benasser, De Kettler, maybe Diaz, I don't know. We will see some good football. We will see, guys, some real good football. I'm 100% sure. Believe me. Believe me, it's real. My biggest fear for uh, CDK, for Charles the Kettler, the Kettleman, the, the Kettle, is... It's called San Siro. It's called San Siro, guys, because when you play in a stadium f with 80,000 people on a Wednesday night in Champions League, on a Saturday at 6 o'clock against, I don't know, Bologna, that you can't really score, and the people start, the supporters, we start to feel in the pressure why the ball is not going inside, why the ball is not going inside. In that moment, if you start making mistakes in San Siro, unfortunately, it's like this. They, don't, they are not going to clap their hands. They're going to whistle at you. They're going to boo you if you don't wake up. So I really, really, really hope that uh, he, because so far, yes, he's fantastic. He's star, star great. His hair are very blonde, fine. But when he go to San Siro, playing a, in a derby, when he go to play Juventus, when he go to play Roma, there are people that they, I mean, they are not, they are just waiting for your single mistake to boo you. And now because we have a lot of, uh, not social media, but press, um, newspaper pressure and all the eyes are going to be on you, can be very dangerous. This kind of pressure can destroy talent. So I really hope that he's strong mentally. He need to be very strong mentally because 21 years old guys anybody is fragile in San Siro if it's raining if it's uh, you go and you go to play in uh, Roma when you go to play against Lazio when you go to play in Udine you know those places they are terrible and you just want to go one score and bring three points at home and that's it because again this season the goal is the second star the only thing that we really need now guys and this is my thoughts is we need a Gattuso, we need a new Frank C. we need somebody who's going to get those yellow cards. We need somebody who's going to scream at the uh, opposite striker. We need somebody who's going to do the Sergio Busquets, we need somebody who's going to do the dirty job. I don't know who's going to be because Tonali and, and Benasser are completely different style, but we need somebody who's going to kick the ass of the opponents. Anyway, for now it's all ladies and gentlemen. I hope that uh, Mr. Kettleman, uh, the Kettler, is going to be a good signing. I really hope because, of course, we are here every day talking about Milan and we hope that he's going to be fantastic and bring us the second star. Other than that, let me know what do you think down below in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.